Trade union Solidarity claims racism is rife in the South African police service. President Thabo Mbeki's approval rating slips to a three-year low. And Pirates flounder, notching up their fourth defeat in 10 PSL matches. This is E! News Prime Time. A very good evening. Is racism plaguing our police force? The predominantly white union Solidarity says it is. It's accused the mainly black police union pop crew of trying to rid the SAPS of white, Indian and coloured officers. rampant crime. Now the trade union Solidarity says the force has added problems, racism. They say pop crew is masterminding ways to rid the SAPS of white, Indian and colored members. Um, they identify people that they want to get rid of in the police service. Then they decide what strategy they're going to use. They're either going to accuse the person of racism or of corruption or they are going to victimize such person. Solidarity says Carl Ford Skink is one such example. He was accused of fraud, but a decision to fire him was later overturned by the Labour Court. His reputation ruined, he decided to leave the force. Solidarity says the charges against him were racially motivated and has published a report outlining its grievances. But Pope Cruz says Solidarity is confusing transformation with racism. We want to challenge Solidarity and Africa Forum to come with proof. Where is the proof? They are making all these allegations, but they, have, they are not providing any proof. Solidarity has approached the Human Rights Commission, saying police management has failed to act. The question the Human Rights Commission will have to answer is this. To what extent is racism being used as a strategy to get rid of certain police officers, if at all, and with the country in the grip of high levels of crime, infighting within the force is one thing South Africans don't need. McIntosh and Zamante, E! News, Johannesburg. Fewer people think the president's doing a good job. A new poll shows Tab Wimbeki's approval rating for this year has dropped to its lowest level since 2003. His office, though, doesn't seem too concerned. Can we come back, please? It's been a tough year for Tab Wimbeki. Public spats with Kosatu and the South African Communist Party. And this humiliation recently in KwaZulu Natal. Shalan Pans, my comrades. This opinion poll is unlikely to provide much comfort. 2,000 South Africans of all races were asked whether Mbeki is doing a good job. Twice in 2004 and 5, Mbeki peaked at a 66% approval rating. Not this time. He ended the year at 54% and an average for 2006 of 56%. All race groups marked him down and even black women, his biggest fans, are less fanatical this year. So, should Mbeki be worried? Any intelligent political leader always tries to get his ratings up and should always be very concerned, as will be an official opposition, if their ratings plummet significantly. Still, for a president nearing the end of his second term, Beck is actually doing well. George W. Bush recently hit 35%. The president's office is unfazed by the result, and his spokesperson says the survey sample is too small to accurately reflect the real feelings on the ground. Lukanyo Kalata, E! News, Cape Town. This year's matric results have received the thumbs up from Umalusi, the regulatory body that keeps an eye on education standards. It says there were no major problems with this year's examinations. The anxious wait for thousands of learners will continue, though. Results are due to be released only on the 28th of December. Over 700,000 learners wrote their senior certificate exams this year. That's an increase of over 12,000 on 2005. 
A security guard has been shot and killed in a Gauteng cash heist. A gang of robbers forced the Fidelity cash van off the road along the N12 highway. A passing police patrol car gave chase and shot and wounded one of the attackers. He was then taken into custody, but the rest of the gang managed to escape with an undisclosed amount of money. Police later found their abandoned vehicle with the body of one of the suspects inside. It's believed he was shot earlier by police at the scene. The Reserve Bank may have reason to pause before increasing interest rates again in the new year. The inflation rate was unchanged from October to November at 5%. Analysts had been expecting it to rise. Reserve Bank Governor Tito Mbeweni has been hitting consumers hard in the last six months, raising interest rates by two percentage points to discourage South Africans from spending on credit and fueling inflation. But now there are signs Mbaweni's medicine may be working. Inflation numbers, which do not include mortgage costs, came in at 5% in November, unchanged from a month before. Although food prices were the main driver, up 2,3%, a stronger rand and lower oil prices also helped. Economists have predicted that Mbaweni will have to raise interest rates again early next year. That's still probable, but now less certain. We'll have a better indication of his next move once producer price numbers are released this week. That shows how much the prices of goods leaving the factory gate are also going up. Ben said, E! News, Johannesburg. And with that, let's take a look at the markets. When E! News primetime continues, a bleak festive season ahead for our northern neighbours, many Zimbabweans are being driven to desperate measures to put food on the table.